Tony Ferguson must get the respect he deserves. This guy is the most based fighter there is. I mean, in every way imaginable. Okay? Let's talk about how uh, based Tony Ferguson is. Okay? So we can go way back to the days where he was booked to fight Khabib. And guess what? He pulled out of the fight twice and Khabib pulled out of the fight twice. And he was the one that stayed in the fight for the third time. Khabib couldn't get his ass to the U.S. And Tony Ferguson beat Khabib. And then he fought Justin Gaethje. And man, was this a freaking hell of a performance for Tony Ferguson. I mean, it was such a good performance from Tony. Justin Gaethje literally had to beg Tony to win in between rounds. Um, I mean, do you guys remember that? That that actually happened. Tony Ferguson gave that win to Justin Gaethje, like a true gentleman, because he's already had all of his wins. He didn't want to be greedy anymore. He gave Justin Gaethje some spotlight. Then he fought Charles Oliveira. Same thing. Oliveira would not be where he's at if it wasn't for Tony. Okay? He didn't tap to the arm bar because, you know, he didn't want to give Oliveira an easy win. And he basically arguably won the fight. I did lean towards Charles Oliveira winning that that decision. It was controversial. And I know a lot of people probably were, were thinking Tony got robbed there. But Tony Ferguson, then he fought Benil Dariush. And this is where Tony kind of decided to slip off a bit. All right? Because Tony just got sick and tired of losing fights. Because, you know, that's what his game plans were. To give wins. And he just... He tried to actually win, but he forgot how to. Okay, so Benil Darius fought Tony that forgot how to win. And pretty much built his name off Tony. Then Michael Chandler got a fluky front kick KO over Tony. He was getting beat up on the feet before then. Nate Diaz was given a pity win because he's not anywhere near Tony's level. And Tony wanted to give him a little pat on the back before he left the UFC. And Bobby Green, you know... Uh, let's just say somehow got one of the biggest upsets in UFC history by defeating Tony. And now instead of, you know, being on a six-fight losing streak and giving up and retiring like most little bitches would, you're only on a six-fight losing streak. Why would you retire? Now Tony Ferguson is getting warmed up to take on Patty Pimlet for a career resurgence. And he's training with David Goggins, something Tony 100% needs. He's lost a bit of that that killer instinct because he's too nice and he's been giving these he's he's given these wins to these young guys all right he's been giving these wins to these young guys and i think now that his mind is right those six losses that we, he had don't really matter and i do think that he will probably destroy patty pimlet okay but even if he doesn't don't even if he doesn't do not give up on tony ferguson this guy's got so much left in the tank Go, he could go on for like five years, ten years, fit, like who knows how long. Uh, we could be seeing a dominant, dominant future for Tony Ferguson. We're just getting started. Champ shit only. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video because I've been seeing a lot of people talking crap about Tony, saying he's washed up, he he he's a sacrifice, he's a he's just he doesn't have it anymore. Patty's gonna whoop an old Tony. Stop it, guys. Tony Ferguson is way better than most people think he is right now, okay? Like, do you think, do you, do you honestly think that Charles Oliveira was 100% guaranteed to win that fight, like, in a rematch? Would it be 100% guaranteed to win in a rematch? I don't think so. I think Tony could give Charles Oliveira a war when he actually tries to win fights instead of doing charity for nobodies, he built so many, he built Benil Darius, he beat Charles, he, he built Charles Oliveira, he built Justin Gaethje, uh, he pretty much built Michael Chandler, he allowed Nate Diaz to box Jake Paul, he allowed Bobby Green to somehow beat Grant Dawson and, and fight Jalen Turner and probably win and get into the top 10. Tony Ferguson needs to get paid. All these fighters need to owe, they owe Tony Ferguson half of their earnings because he is entitled to that uh, money. Uh, just like uh, I'm entitled to views and subscribers. So subscribe to this video and I'll see you when I go live.